Okay, we are recording. Good evening. Happy September. Um, I first just want to say, holy freaking wow. Um, this month is crazy. I, I mean, it was crazy even before the promotions were announced, but you guys are absolutely killing it. Um, I had a lot of you guys asking for updates. We are at $65,000 in sales and it is the fourth. So you guys are absolutely killing it. Um, like I said in that live video, I really hope you know how incredible that, do you see her? This, <laughs> this is and the promotions they've launched and everything that they've set up for us. So I'm going to start, Molly, stop. I'm going to start um, with pouring a little bit into you on something that was on my heart. And then at the end, I want to end it off with, she's not cute. She's rude and not mannerly. Um, and then I'm going to end it off with any questions you guys have regarding this month, regarding taking action for this month, any like thing you want to pick my brain about, about the sales, the $25 in credits, the anything you want to ask. So I'm going to open up to that at the end, but I'm going to start with the notes that I have and try to walk through these. As you guys know, I always do my best to like formulate what is up here and put it on paper to deliver a message, but I'll probably ramble and go off topic. But what I wanted to touch on was basically some of the things that I think block a lot of people's businesses. And this may be stuff that I've touched on before, but I think laying it out like this may give you certain areas to realize like, Hey, that's maybe where I'm stuck in, or that's what I'm struggling with, or, you know, that's what I'm having an issue with, or, Hey, wow. Like I haven't even been thinking about that. And that's where I, why I am. So where I am and why I'm not having that breakthrough. Right. So I titled my notes it's time to pack up and move how to make your business boom. And I swear I wasn't trying to make that rhyme and that sounds really good. <laughs> but what I always say in the trainings is that so many of us get in this place, right? And like I always say, you, you pitch the tent and you sit down and you start making s'mores. And sometimes you don't realize the areas that you're complacent in and that you're not up leveling in and that that's like the missing factor of what's wrong. And that's a great zoom I reference all the time, but I'm going to go through a couple different things um, of all the places that you may be living that you need to back up and move away from. So just follow me with this. Um, so the first one that I think is a really big thing is that you're living in comparison and limiting belief land. This is going to be like candy land. All right, buckle up. So, so many of us do this all day long and we don't realize it, right? We compare ourselves to everybody that blinks, everybody that posts on social media, every single person on the team, every single person that's the sideline, the girl you see walking down the street, the mom that you see at the park. We compare ourselves to everyone. And what I want you to notice is how much time that is taking up in your mind every single day. And I can bring this back to gratitude like I always do, but if you're sitting in that comparison trap, it's not healthy and it's not good for you. And I don't think sometimes we realize how dang hard we are on ourselves and the way that we talk to ourselves all day long, especially when it comes to promoting. So the most important thing I need you to know, even beginning this business, whether you've been in for a year or two years, you need to know that you are exactly the person that you need to be. Your story is exactly the way that it needs to be. Your journey is coming out in a timely manner. Your message is perfect. Your pur purpose is perfect because it's yours, right? I don't care who promoted to what rank at what time. I don't care who earned what bonus. I don't care if, you know, you think that you're supposed to be at a certain place and you're not. And well, that girl got there and they, it doesn't matter, right? You're rewriting this manuscript in your head that's not real. Everything is happening for you in divine timing. And if you spent more time reflecting on you instead of everybody else, I promise it would change so much in your life. And I truly don't think that comparison is ever something that like we master, just like our mindset. Like you're never going to wake up one day and been like, I cheer for everyone all the time. And I'm always like a girl's best friend. No, right. We're going to have those moments. You're going to get crappy feelings. You're going to have envy and jealousy, and you're going to compare, but you have to be on the attack when that happens, right? You have to every time every time you have to know when those thoughts are creeping up when you start comparing to like, to other people because the beauty of this business is your individuality right it is your specific story it's that you're where you are because somebody needs that right if you even think about who you joined in this business right not every single one of you signed up with me you signed up with somebody you related to right so how dare you compare yourself, you know, or your journey to mine or somebody else's when yours is so special because that person watching you needs you just like you needed your enroller. So we have to start to flip that script in our head 
of the comparison and of always looking left and right. And you have to focus on growing yourself and you have to focus on loving yourself and understanding that no, it's not perfect. And yes, it's messy. And we're never going to fit in this little box and this little bubble and be able to be exactly who we want to be, but you don't need to be that person. You need to be who you are. So I think a lot of us, especially in this industry, guys, we are a bunch of women surrounded by women. That is not easy, right? Taking selfies and putting filters on stuff. This is not an easy game. Okay. So give yourself grace with that and know that you don't need to be looking left and right. You need to be looking in at all times. Okay. And also what I said was the limiting beliefs. You need to recognize what your limiting beliefs are and the lies that you tell yourself every single day. Okay. You have to start realizing, like I said, that script that you're creating in your head with these limiting beliefs and expectations of, oh, well, I should have, you know, I've been in for this long. I should be this rank, right? Or I should be doing this or, well, I just don't have what she has. Or, you know, a girl with my story or a girl from my town or a girl with my background, she's not meant to have a life like that, right? Success isn't in my story. All these crazy things we tell ourselves all day long and you tell yourself you can't and you won't and you don't deserve to be. And you do, but it's just like the comparison. If you can catch what you're telling yourself all the time, not that it goes away, not that we don't have hard times, but when you can recognize it as that voice, remember like last year, I told you guys, you need to name that voice in your head and you need to tell her to go away because she's rude and she's awful and she's mean, but you can't place those limiting beliefs on yourself. You can't say, well, I'm not this way or I'm not that way, or I didn't grow up that way, or I don't have enough followers or, you know, just people in my family aren't successful like that. Or, you know, I'm not a girl that's going to make it like that. Or I can't make money like that. You don't even realize all the crap you say to yourself all the time, right? You have to break those limiting beliefs, but you can't break them unless you identify your, identify it to yourself. So ask yourself, what story are you telling yourself, right? What future have you so neatly lined out for yourself when that's not our job, Right. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know where we're supposed to be. We don't know what path we're supposed to take every single step of the way. And it's not your job to figure it out or to try to create it, right? Your job is right here and right now. And like I said, looking inward. So really catching that comparison, catching that limiting belief, you got to work on that. And you have to destroy that story. You have to get it out of your head. You have to get it out of your mind because every second that you're there and that's what you're focusing on, think about everything you're not focusing on right? Think about all the things that you're letting fall to the background that are the most important, not just for yourself or your business, but just your well-being in general. Okay. So a lot of us live in comparison and limiting belief. <laughs> My little euphemisms here. Um, but the next one is that you've been living in the same place for too long. You have been living in the same place for too long. You have been having the same problems, the same cycles, the same behaviors, the same, I don't know how to do this, or that's my big problem in my business. You've been in this place for too long, right? You extended your lease and you need to move. You have to up level, right? Because we get in these cycles and we don't realize that we've just packed up and we're staying somewhere, right? We don't realize that that's the one thing that's stopping us. If you are still having the same exact issue since the day that you joined, right? Whether you are thinking, well, my network isn't right, or I just don't know how to talk to people, or you know, I don't know how to engage with people, or I don't really know how to be myself, or I can't get in a routine with my self-development, or all, the, all these things that you tell yourself, right? If you're still having the same problems, even if you've just been in for a month, you packed up and you live there for too long. The point of this industry is that you are ever growing, right? And stopping, is what kills your business. Stopping is what stunts you. So you don't have to be perfect, right? You don't, you're never going to figure it all out. You're never going to, you know, arrive at that place. But if you're not moving consistently and constantly in any direction, you're going to be stuck, right? So you've lived in this place for too long. So if you ask yourself, okay, can I think back, right? A month or six months or a year, are there the same problems that I'm still struggling with? Am I still running into the same issues? Am I still hitting the same wall? right? You got to break through it and you have to focus on that. That's what I always say. You got to put the problem and you got to put it right in front of yourself and you got to face it. It might be easy. It might be ugly. It might be hard. I don't know what it may be for you. Whatever area of your life, your business, everything that is keeping you in the same place, you have to break through. Okay. And I'm going to tell you right now that if you haven't been uncomfortable, scared, nauseous, shaking anything in the past month, you haven't grown right? You haven't up leveled. You haven't gone through something, right? And I say this all the time. This is something I'll share with you guys. The biggest thing that I've had to work through, and this is why I speak on this so much. I am so resistant to pain. 
I don't want to feel it. I don't want to go through it. I don't want to be hurt. I don't want to face it. I want to just sit in my bed and pull my covers up to my face and pretend that everything's fine. But you have to, right? You have to go through really hard times. You have to face the things that you need to work on. You need to face what's in front of you to break through. And if you're not, you're living in the same place, right? To build something new, you got to break something down first. You've got to break through that wall to get through. So that's a real realization I think you can have is like, okay, what's that constant, right? In my business, if I look back on the past months to six months to a year, what's that one thing that's still a factor, right? That I haven't up leveled in, that I haven't grown in or mastered or moved on from. What's that one thing, right? Maybe it is your network. Maybe it's posting. Maybe it's live videos, right? If you've been on the tribe for a year and we're still scared to go live, you got to push through it right? You have to go through these up levels every single time. See, going live, you got to do it, right? You have to identify and it can be as silly as something like that, right? Where it's just hitting a button going live or maybe it's something deep in your business and it's a personal thing that you need to work through because you know you can't serve others until you do that. Whatever it may be, if you can say like, you know, yeah, like things have been pretty steady and I've been in the same place, you know, for a while, something's not right. Right. And I can genuinely say that why we have grown so much, not only as a tribe, but in my personal life, in my business, in my income, in every area, it's because I can't look back on a single month in the past two years where things were like constant and the same. That I wasn't on a roller coaster or going through something or something was completely changing or I was having to learn something new or I was scared or uncovered. I can't tell you one single month where I was like, wow, this is a really chill month. Like, I like this. No, it's been crazy, right? but it has to be crazy if you want to grow. So ask yourself if you've been living in the same place for too long, it's time to upgrade, right? It's time to move forward. It's time to face that one thing that's blocking you and keep growing. And it can be as corny as you guys want to hear it. And I know you hear it all the time. That's why they say that this business is self-development with a paycheck attached. If you grow, your paycheck is going to grow. If you haven't grown, your paycheck probably hasn't grown, right? You're still sitting in the same spot. So it's breaking through all those different barriers. So that could be another thing. Um, okay, this one's fun. I like to talk about this one. Um, you are working your business like you were casted to be on Big Brother, okay? This is one big reality show, and your entire focus is on the team page and the team chat and what she's posting and what her story looks like, and your whole news feed is Lavelle, right? And it's like one big reality show. You can't run your business living in this team, right? You can't do it. If this is your focus, right? If you can tell me what Molly did yesterday at two o'clock in the afternoon on my story, well, we got to change something, right? You, you can't just be focusing on the people on the team. Yes, it's great for inspiration. It's great to get fired up. It's great to, you know, go see and like, okay, I need some inspo with like content creation. I need, you know, to look at somebody's story to pull some ideas. But there's a difference between resourcing something and taking action and just living in somebody else's story right? And that can happen with comparison too. You can get stuck in it, but you have to refocus what you're looking at. And that's not to say like, I don't want you to like my posts or I don't want you in the team page, but you need to manage the time that you spend living in this and then actually taking what you, what's being poured into you and taking action with it, right? Because you can sit and watch training videos all day. You can have my posts as the first thing on your newsfeed every single morning. You can watch all the leader stories. You can watch all your downline stories, your sideline sister stories. I can't join your team, right? I can't sign up to buy your products. I can't be a new engagement you have or a new friend that you make or something new. You, like I can't be that for you, right? So I want you to ask yourself the time that you're spending on social media, where is your focus, right? And this is something you have to get really, really good at. You have to manage your time that you're spending. So yes, use the team page. Yes, be on these chats religiously. Yes, if you want to give post love, give post love. But you have to step outside of it and say, hey, I still have a business, right? And I'm still in charge of it. The team as a whole isn't, right? This isn't a relay race right? We all have our own businesses. So you have to see where you're spending your time and where your focus is. If your whole newsfeed is Lavelle, we got a problem, right? Like I said, unfollow. I will not be offended. I will not be mad. I'm not going to nothing, right? I want you to be having new faces in front of you. I want you to be connecting with new people, right? Hold on. Ali, I can't mute you. I think it's gone. Okay. You, so see where you're putting your focus, right? Because we have such an empowering group of women, right? And we're always here, constantly. We're here to uplift. We're here to give you resources. We're here to treat you. But it's up to you to take that 
and do something with it, right? If you just sit down, right, and you're just hanging out all the time, well, I can't grow your business like that, right? I can't help you. So ask yourself where your focus is. Hold on. It's not working. Can you guys still hear me? Um, so just ask yourself where your focus is. And like I say, use this as a source of inspiration and a resource to learn, but then you have to go take action. Allie, can you mute yourself? I can't mute you and I don't want to remove you. Hold on. Um, okay, so just ask yourself, like I said, where you're spending your time because we teach you how to run a business strategically, right? In the pockets of your day so that you're not on social media all day long, so that you're not engulfed in your phone all day long. So when you have those pockets of time to get on, be doing your IPAs, grow your network, engage with people, show up and share you, right? So just focus on what your focus is on because I think we can get stuck in that trap. And I think that with anything, it's really, really healthy with boundaries, right? It's really healthy to have us as a source of empowerment, to have us as a resource, to have us as leaders, to have us as your biggest cheerleaders. But when you become engulfed in it, then it's not being applied, right? There's no application for everything that you're learning. And then you're not doing the one thing that you came here to do. So that's another thing. Um, and then the last thing that I want to talk about is that you are living your business and your life at surface level. And this is something that I talk about all the time. And you guys know this, I always say dig deeper, dig deeper, dig deeper. And this is a constant factor when I talk to people and they're like, okay, well, you know, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. I'm doing my self development. I'm showing up consistently. I'm growing my network. You know, I'm sharing what I have my hands on, but you know, nobody's reaching out to me, right? Nobody's in my inbox. And you know that if you come to me, the first question that I normally ask you, which might be cliche, I ask you to tell me what your why is and what your purpose is and what you're here for and why you're doing this, right? You're going to never come ask me a question again because we go to church really quick, but I need to know these things to identify it, right? And you have all these huge goals, right? These huge things that you're working for, these ginormous things that you've been through, this purpose that you want to walk through life with. And your social media has no idea, right? All they know is what your five things are and that you sell a nutritional system, right? And this is where I need you to see the surface level. That video of what are your five things, that's so huge for branding in the beginning because a lot of people, when they start in this industry or they're coming back to this industry, they don't really know how to show up on social media. They don't really know what to talk about. They don't really know like who they are. Cause I had that when I started, I was like, okay, I literally don't know who the heck I am or like who I'm supposed to connect with. Like I didn't know who was in here, but after you discover those five things and you get into your groove with posting and you're putting up content and you're doing all this stuff, you have to dig deeper, right? I can promise you that nobody on this zoom that has personally enrolled with me signed up with me because I have dogs or because I'm a fiance or because I live in Oklahoma or any of that, right? And those are my five things. Like they're things that make me me and they're quirky. And yeah, they can connect me with people and make it not weird, you know, when new people are on my page and like, what do I have in common with her? Those are commonalities, right? But if nobody's in your inbox, it's because you're not connecting with people, right? It's because you're not digging deep enough. You're not showing people who you really are. It's more than just your five things, right? It's more than just the location where you live or, you know, the things that make you, you or the sports that you've played or what your favorite store is or all these different things. What is your purpose, right? What are you here for? People have no idea who you are, right? And you have to dig deeper and yeah, sure. People can list facts off about you, but is that going to make them come into your inbox and be like, okay, like I, I want to talk, right? Like you're giving me hope. And I feel the same way you did before you joined. And I need you to show me that there's a better way. I need you to make me believe in this industry. And I need to see that there's options. I need to know my future is not going to look like this. That's not going to happen until you dig deeper. And you're just simply not connecting with your audience because you're not sharing enough, right? And I never say this to say, oh, spend all day on your phone or talk about your deepest, darkest secrets. But you got to do that little extra footwork. People need to know who you are. They need to know why you're doing this. They need to know what you're fighting for, right? And that's why I will consistently and constantly talk about this because that is always the missing piece when you say people aren't in my inbox, right? I'm not enrolling people. People aren't asking me questions, right? Because they don't have a reason to talk to you. 
something has to connect with them. Something has to make them comfortable to reach out to you, right? And that will happen when you just start being yourself and you start showing up, right? You got to get on and do lives. You have to get on and talk to people, right? You have to be face to face on your story and tell funny things about your day and share when you have the crappy moments and the hard moments and the sad moments. You have to share this because we're humans, right? This isn't just a bar where like, I think you have a really cute shirt and like I'm drunk in the bathroom and I want to like hang out one time. Like, no, I want to change people's lives, right? That is below. It, it's got to be more than that. You have to dig deeper. So I always say that like it's more. And that may be the place that you're stuck, right? That you've been camped out living for too long is that you still haven't opened up about stuff and you still haven't talked about stuff with your audience and you still haven't given them that something that bonds them to you where they're comfortable coming to you, whether it's about capsules or because they want to change their life or because they had a hard day, no matter what it is, there's more. And I know that it can be weird and it's uncomfortable and it's social media and it's not normal to show up and, you know, share everything. And like share your purpose of why you think you're walking on this earth and what your biggest hopes and dreams are and what scares you and the crappy stuff you've been through. But when you start to do that and you give them more than just like I say sometimes, like an unfold story and, you know, a good filtered picture, when they can see who you are, that's when they come to you, right? And it's not about rank and it's not about money and it's not about looking a certain way. It's not about anything. It's about you being who you are and why somebody needs you to connect with and not me and not the next person, right? You have to give somebody something to connect to and you're not digging deep enough. And that's why people aren't in your inbox, right? Because they don't have a reason to be, right? So ask yourself, like if you went and looked at your page for the past week, would you see something where you were like, wow, like if I didn't know me and I watched this, like I would connect with that. Like I would feel that, right? Like I would feel like we're friends. I would feel like I could talk to her about anything. And if not, then you got to dig deeper. And that's what you have to focus on is just going below that surface level. And if you feel like you don't know how to do that, or you're like, I just, I don't get it, right? Like, I don't really know who I am yet. I don't really know how to share it. And I don't really know how to do that. Or like who I'm even talking to self-development. That's where it comes from. I'm telling you 90% of my content, 90% of my growth, 90% of the stuff I talk about comes from what I do in the first 20 to 30 minutes of my day, Right. Because I have something to pour into others. I have a message to share. I've had something I've now grown through, right? It's what connects me to people. And it doesn't always have to be the deep stuff either, right? Let it be the fun stuff, the funny stuff. Let them see your personality. Let them know who you are. I want people to feel like they know me and they're my friend, right? So that could be also what's missing and what you're struggling with is just that you're not digging deep enough, right? You're living on that surface level and you're showing up and doing a post here and there and you're putting up an unfold story. So you're showcasing the products and you shared your five things. So, wow, you just scared me. So you think, right, that, oh, well, like that person's going to be in my inbox. No, you have to dig deeper, okay? So go through these things and think about them, right? If you're comparing yourself to somebody, flip the script on comparison, right? Use it as a lens to look at somebody with inspiration instead of envy, right? And be able to say, okay, well, she can do it. So I can do it, right? Not, I can't do it because she's done it or she's doing it or she's going to. No, it means I can, right? It means that my story is possible. And because she did it, I can do it too, but it needs me in the story, right? It needs my story. It needs who I am. Drop the limiting beliefs that you're telling yourself. Your mindset can literally control your business. Your mindset can control every roadblock you have. Your mindset can control the way that you communicate with others, the way that you show up daily. It's everything. And if it's filled with the envy and comparison and, well, I can't do this, or I should have been here, or these expectations, or all this crap, it's bogging you down. So before you go into a month, especially that's this big and this life-changing that everybody has access to, you got to filter that out, right? Filter out all that crap in your head. And understand the areas that you need to up-level in. And if you can commit to growth, you can make moves this month, right? You can accomplish so many crazy things. I was going to say, too, if um, you go back to the Zoom search, I think it was like the June game plan. That's another good one. I did it like the first one in the month of June, and that's a really good one, too, to like start your month off. Um, and that might have been the one that's the missing piece one, or maybe that was a different one. But I kind of went through that and went through like just really how to get your mind straight before the month starts. And... Um, something else I want to say too, before I answer any questions you guys have, and this has to do with limiting beliefs, um, the bullshit that you've already fed yourself. And I'm going to call you out because I know that these thoughts have been in your head about, well, I don't know if I can get somebody to the VIPs or anybody that I'm talking to about these credits hasn't signed up, or I just don't know if I can have 4k and you're not saying it out loud, 
right? You're saying your goals out loud, but in your head, you're thinking it. And I know some of you are because I, we're human and we suck sometimes. You got to get that out, right? You have to know that no matter what your story is, no matter how long you've been in, no matter what struggles you've had, no matter where you feel like you are in your business, you are capable of whatever goal you have this month. You are capable. Okay. So trash those thoughts, insert mine instead, have me playing instead of those because they're nasty and they're negative and we don't want them. And you are so, so capable. Okay. And that's really important, especially at the beginning of the month to flip your mindset like that and understand, okay, where does my head need to be before I go running out towards these goals? Because that's the first thing that you have to solidify. Okay. My mouth is getting dry. Do we have any questions? Um, I will share that something that has been helping me a lot with customers and the $25 in credits every single day on my story, I'm picking a new product. Um, I think that because there's like, like obviously you can take the $25 off of everything. There was just like too many for me to be like, oh, well this is this price and like bump down. So I'm like featuring one product today. So at the beginning of the month, like I just let everybody know that we were having big sales and I'd be going through my favorite products, but I would pick one a day to go through. So I did like the charcoal mask and then I did balance and then I'm going to do rest. So it's just like a small like feature on my Instagram story every day where I'm coming on and doing like basically like a product of the day, right? So that I can hit all the audiences, right? I can hit everybody that's watching my stories because, um, we have so many different products for so many different people. And that's why I love sales like this. And I think that sometimes people shy away from the small volume sales and I'm never one to like sign like tiny, tiny sales. All of my sales are normally 150 to 250. But when it's a month like this, like I said in that first video, you have to understand to use this to your advantage and mass enroll and get these customers in the system because you're going to leverage them into bigger orders. So don't be afraid to feature those products, right? And flip to one every single day and share what you love about it and share, you know, how discounted the price it is right now. And then the next day do something else and just carry on with your day. But for me, that's been helpful because I get to see, have different people in my inbox every day that have different goals or need help with something else, right? Like somebody that really wanted the charcoal mask may not have wanted balance, right? So it's bringing new people into my inbox that I haven't really talked to. So that's been great for me. And then just like I said, also on this um, live video, just make sure that you lay your goals out um, and don't overcomplicate them, right? So if you, if your goal is to go to 4k, okay, cool. You want to help at least two to three people get their VIPs this month, right? Just lay it out like that and know what's in front of you and what you're moving towards. So yes, 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 yes. Okay. Do you guys have any questions before we hop off? Anything at all? Or are we good? Anybody? Um, also don't forget about the giveaway that we're doing the pay your bill for the month. So make sure you drop all your entries there. Um, and we still, like I said on the live, I want to do a goal for how many people as a team we want to get to VIPs this month. I think it'd be really cool to set a goal and kind of do like a ticker, um, to mark down where we are at, but okay. Awesome. So any more questions you guys can always just ask in the team chats. Think on what I talked about tonight, write it down, look at what's in front of you and what you need to break through. No, only brand new customers and brand new com promoters get the credits, not old ones. Um, but I hope that y'all have a great night. I will upload this tonight. Bye.